Probably my favorite story about Abu Bakr is this one. Uh, in, in all of the stories about him that sort of show that loyalty of the Prophet ﷺ to those that, that supported him very early on. And there's an important lesson to take from this that, you know, there's a recurring theme here with the Prophet ﷺ and how he honored those firsts, right? And a lot of times, once the hard work is done, other people are put forth and we, we fail to honor and respect the people that put in the struggle and the people that put in the hard work. And this was something that the Prophet was, was very good about, right? The veterans of Badr had their place. You know, the early Muhajirun, the early people of Mecca that suffered, the Bilal's of the world, those people that almost died in bondage and slavery, supporting the Prophet ﷺ, believed in him with everything. The Prophet ﷺ put them on a pedestal. He honored those early uh, givers. So what kind of honor do you think Abu Bakr has? And Abu Bakr's honor surpasses every single other person amongst the companions, including Umar. The Prophet ﷺ was sitting in the masjid, so put yourself in the masjid of the Prophet ﷺ, sitting there in Medina. And Abu Bakr who walked in and he was holding his garments, so he was holding his, his, uh, his lower cloth, and you could see his, his legs, and he looked visibly uh, upset. He looked like he was nervous, he looked like he was hurt, he looked like he was upset. The Prophet ﷺ looked at him and he said to the companions around him, it looks like Abu Bakr got into an argument. You know, when you, you know your best friend so well, <laughs> you can identify within the first few moments what type of emotion they're feeling. So he didn't say Abu Bakr is, is anxious or Abu Bakr must be in trouble. Or He said, uh, that's the Abu Bakr that got into an argument. He got into an argument with somebody, right? Something is bothering him, but particularly he must have got into an argument with someone. So as Abu Bakr is walking to the Prophet ﷺ, he already mentioned that to the companions. He, he says to the Prophet ﷺ, uh, Assalamu alaikum, peace be on to you. He says, O Messenger of Allah, I and Umar bin Khattab got into an argument. And in the midst of that argument, see, the, even the two best people, the shaykhan, the two shaykhs around the Prophet ﷺ could have an argument, right? They're human beings, they love each other, but they got into an argument. And Abu Bakr anhu, he doesn't throw Umar under the bus. He says that I said some things I shouldn't have said in the midst of that argument. I was wrong. He's making it very clear. He doesn't say, I, you, you know how hot-headed Umar is. He doesn't take a shot at Omar. He says, I said some things that I should not have said and I regretted it and I apologized to Omar. So I asked Omar to forgive me and he refused. So I'm coming to you to help me get his forgiveness. You see what's happening here? So I was wrong, Omar was right, but when I apologized, he was so upset that he didn't, he didn't accept my, my apology. So I'm asking you, Ya Rasulullah, to help me seek that forgiveness. So the Prophet ﷺ put his hand on Abu Bakr's shoulder and he said, غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَكَ يَا أَبَا بَكِرْ Allah will forgive you, Abu Bakr. And he said it to him three times, calming him down, don't worry about it, Allah forgives you. Right, so that's the first thing. And as he's saying that, Umar anhu, right after he had the argument with Abu Bakr, he felt bad about it, that he didn't accept his apology. So he went to Abu Bakr's house to find him, to tell him, I forgive you. And he didn't find him there, so he went to the masjid. Umar anhu walks to the masjid and as he walks into the masjid, the Prophet ﷺ locks eyes with him and the Prophet ﷺ looks extremely upset. Abu Bakr looks at the Prophet ﷺ locking eyes with Umar and he says, Ya Rasulullah, I was wrong. <laughs> it was me, it wasn't him. He didn't do anything wrong. I was the one that messed up. Ya Rasulullah, it, it's okay. Just that connection, you know, you could see that the Prophet ﷺ was visibly upset with Umar anhu. So Abu Bakr anhu was saying, I was the one who wronged him. And as Umar radiallahu anhu walks up, listen to what the Prophet sallallahu says to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. And there are very few times you're going to see the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, admonish a man like Umar, who he loves and honors to that, to that level, to that extent. He says to him, listen, إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَعَثَنِي إِلَيْكُمْ فَقُلْتُمْ كَذَبْتَ Allah sent me to all of you and you people said, you lie. He lies. You denied me. وَقَالَ أَبُوْ بَكِرْ صدق. And Abu Bakr said, he's telling the truth. And he supported me with all of himself and all of his wealth, like no other person. By the way, the word wasani is he gave me his all. It's the same word that the Prophet ﷺ used to describe Khadija radiallahu anha. Wawasatni gave me his all. She gave me her all. No one could replace Khadija, right? The time the Prophet admonishes Aisha is when she insults Khadija. Now it's Umar. No one can replace Khadija. No one replaces Abu Bakr, right? He gave me his all in the very beginning, his self, his wealth, everything. 
and the Prophet ﷺ puts his hand on Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and he says, فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ تَارِكُوا لِي صَاحِبِي Are you people going to leave my companion alone? Can you imagine he's saying that to Umar radiallahu anhu? Will you people leave this man, this friend of mine alone? And he said it two times sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Abu Darda radiallahu anhu was sitting in the gathering who narrated it. He said, فَمَا أُوذِيَ بَعْدَهَا He said, no one dared mess with Abu Bakr after that moment. Like the point was driven to everybody that this was the Prophet sallallahu best friend. This was his companion. And the Prophet had a special place for him that no one messed with him. Now realize the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was not speaking to the substance of the argument that transpired in the first place. He was speaking to Umar radiallahu anhu's reluctance to forgive him and saying that this man had no reluctance in believing in me. And so you should have no reluctance in forgiving him just because of his status with me radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And again, that same word of wa, you know, wasani, that he supported me, he gave me his all when no one else would give me anything. It was very special.